Okay, so hey, today I've got a really exciting message I want to share with you. I happened to catch Art in the office today and started chatting about different things that I thought was really important for everybody to kind of know. Now, Art speaks on all sorts of different things. He's actually going internationally speaking. And um, he talks to mostly, I think, medical people and in the dental space. Correct me if I'm wrong, Art. And, you know, they talk about a lot of really cool stuff that I think really applies itself to any business. So I wanted to do a few, I wanted to ask Art a few questions and uh, kind of get some thoughts from him that may help all of us. So when you're out there speaking, Art, to your groups, what are the things that you're stressing the most to them and what's kind of the things you're going through and helping them make a difference in their business? I know you talk finances a lot. I know you talk all sorts of, you know, like motivational stuff for their staff and making sure people are getting along. Most of my audience, obviously, they're doing it themselves, mm -hmm. but, you know, they don't have a lot of staff, but they, they get frustrated in what they're doing because, you know, they don't see success overnight or whatever else. And so, you know, let's kind of roll from there. What, what are you teaching out there and what's working for? Okay. Most of what I teach my clients is personal leadership. And it's actually taking a progressive step forward instead of being subject to the economy or subject to just kind of this default culture. They're actually taking a, an opportunity to design a path that they want to go down. And what that means is maybe challenging themselves on the way that they market, challenging themselves on the way that they lead their team, and how they interact on a day-to-day -day basis. Wow, that's great. So I think if, you know, all of us need to think about our plan for the future and what's going on. Because one thing that's awesome about the internet is, is that you can be doing this from anywhere in the world. Not only that, you know, in some of my programs, I make a lot of money from outside the United States of people paying to be in my continuity programs and my membership programs, which is really important to me. And I think what Art's saying is, yeah. is that, you know, for even these, these dentists or whoever they're talking, they get frustrated when the market starts going bad, things start getting tough, it changes their business too because people don't get medical things done or they don't do this or they don't do that. So he doesn't want them to have a scared mentality, I guess, is that what sure. you're saying? Yeah. Yeah, I don't want them to be scared at all. I mean, if they can figure out a way to grow inside of a depressed economy or all these external factors that they feel like could be an excuse to why they're not performing at the level they want to. It's challenging them to think differently and how, what can I do in this situation to make it better. Awesome. So what's some other things that you find are helping some of these dental practices or medical practices that you're working with right now? What are some, some key things that you're sharing with them that are making a difference? I think one of the biggest things that I'm finding in medical, probably more so than dental, is actually developing a relationship with their patient. Uh, developing, and, and the reason I say that is because they're in a patient-facing environment. Uh, medical has gotten to the point to where it's become so mundane and so customary and you don't have to have a personality. As long as you can bill as a practice and, and collect your money, you're going to be successful those things are changing and now they actually have to build those relationships. So they're looking to things like social networking and social media and websites and all of those components that are kind of a, a digital interface with their audience and it's expanding their scope of service, but it's somewhat of a challenge because they don't know how to do it. Yeah, no, that's a great point. And I think that's with everybody, you, you know, all of, all of us are dealing with clients today. So I don't care if you're in the internet doing continuity programs like I'm doing or if you're doing a membership program, Whatever you're doing, you've got to learn how to actually speak to people, how to really communicate with them, even digitally or in person. Mm -hmm. Because reality is, I might talk to you today, and then two hours from now, I might hit you up on Facebook, right. and it doesn't make any difference. It's the same relationship. Right. Would you agree with yeah. that? So let me, let me ask you a question. And I guess okay. for my audience, if you could give them two or three nuggets okay. on how to change their paradigm as far as marketing in a social network, what would you tell them? Wow, art's changing the roles on me, look at that. So a couple things I would do. One thing that's the most, I'll tell you the number one thing I would do besides just set up your platforms, okay? There's a big thing going on right now and medical doctors and everybody out there needs to be aware of this because most of the businesses that I do with either dentists or that kind of stuff, they, they have this problem, that's why I'm gonna tell it to you they're not setting up their platforms back to the owner. Mm -hmm. So what I mean by that is, is that my Facebook account being Dr. Jones needs to be set up by Dr. Jones and owns that Facebook account. Mm -hmm. Because if he has somebody like myself or a subcontractor set that up for them, 
then if that person leaves the practice or is an outside person and all of a sudden Dr. Jones says, where's right. my Facebook account? I own that. Right. He may not get it because it wasn't tied to his name. Somebody else was managing it. Don't do that to yourself. Make sure everything is set up. Doesn't mean you can't make people admins on it. Don't get me wrong. You need to make them admins. You need people helping you. But make sure it's tied back to you that you are an admin on those things. Mm -hmm. The most important thing I could tell anybody in the business space. Sure. Now, the next thing is that if you're out there and you're, let's just say, let's talk Facebook because I think Facebook's really important for that group right now. If you're not, so what happens is I, every time I look into somebody's Facebook account, it's I'm not getting responses or my, my clients aren't doing this or they're not doing that. And I'm sure you find the same thing. Sure. But what happens is, is they're not asking engaging questions. Right. So they look at somebody and said, hey, I had, I had a great day. Yeah. Well, you're not going to get an answer, people. I mean, if you're not going to get it in real life, you're not going to get it online. But they seem to think that they can say that and, boy, I'm supposed to get these responses. Right. doesn't happen. If I say, I had a great day today, how the heck was your day, Art? Probably Art's going to give me a response, right? Sure. So make sure that you're using engaging stuff. The next thing is, is don't always be talking about your business. So some creative ideas you might want to use, find, you know, like Friday nights, mm -hmm. give people a cool date idea. Like, hey, if, you know, every Friday night, come here, guys, we'll save your bacon. Here's a cool date idea. Mm -hmm. You know, and what they need to do is just do some research locally. Sure. Find out what a cool opportunity is. Because I don't know about you, but every time I decide I want to go out, I'm thinking, crap, what am I going to do tonight? There's no movie. Right. Or I went to the movie five times. You know, I want something different. And if they could do that and help me, I'm not going to get rid of their, I guess, you know, that account. Because usually if you're from a practice like that, mm -hmm. you're not looking at that every day thinking, oh, gosh, I want to subscribe to this kind of a, so you got to give them a reason sure. to subscribe, and that does it. So, you know, if it's recipes, this, mm -hmm. that, and the other, and then consistency. Consistency is so, so important. And I don't care if that's YouTube, Facebook, whatever it is, be consistent all the time with your message and really do it. And that's from Google+, Plus. that's on Facebook, that's on Twitter, all those platforms. If you're not consistent, your viewers will not pay attention to you. And you do that really good on your Facebook account, Art. I mean, when you see people out sure. there and they engage with you, you're right there and you comment. Right. You like things. Like, even if you don't comment, if I make a comment, you're going to like it. That's the kind of engagement I'm talking right. about. You've got to be in social media and really work it. You do a great job. You're, you're a good example of cool. that. But a lot of the practices, they don't want to go to that extent. Right. So engaging your audience. Tell me a little bit about video. How's that coming into play with some of these platforms as well? That's great. Um, video right now, for instance, we've found for some doctors and stuff is there's a lot of people, let's just say I, I'm in New York, but I see some video practice. I mean, some guy that's got a lot of video work that shows some amazing work. Mm -hmm. It engages me. I'm not afraid to travel today to get things done that I want done that are very important to me. One thing that's very important to you is people that are in your space. Mm -hmm. And if you don't know those people that are getting in your space, right. man, it's really like... I don't know that. So like, I'll give you a prime example. My mm -hmm. dentist, I had a crown fall off and he recommended that I come in. There was another dentist there to put the crown back on. Mm -hmm. Well, I could have done that, but I got thinking, you know, I really don't know that other person all that well. And so I'll just wait for my own because right. I feel comfortable, right? So if, if people feel comfortable with you before they ever get there because they can get to know you on more of a personal level or this is your style or this is what you do or they've had that interaction with you, all of a sudden, it makes all the difference in the world. So it's the same thing if you meet somebody on Facebook and you're engaging right. with them. Well, when you meet them in person, you don't all of a sudden start off by, dude, I've never met you before. How? <laughs> it's like, man, your kids are really, I mean, they're doing this, and right. oh my gosh, you're into this. And, I mean, you have things to talk about, and all of a sudden, it's a change, right? So that's where video is taking such a big difference in the medical industry is, mm -hmm. is people actually get to know the doctor or the physician, whatever they are, on a totally different level. And when they come in, it's not like, they're a stranger. It's like you sure. said before. They're, they're really a friend, and yet they've learned so much from them. They're an expert, and there's not all these other experts competing in that space right now, so they can really crush it. Cool. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Does that help you at all? Yeah, absolutely. I think that's good information, especially for my clients and what they're looking to do in expanding their scope of interaction with their clients. Cool. I'm going to give you one more tip because, I mean, art's great to help me on so many things. So if you're not on Google Plus and you're not on YouTube, there's a couple things that you're going to miss out from a search engine optimization standpoint and they're huge for you and your practice. So make sure that you're on both those platforms because Google now has taken local search and national search and brought them together so the smaller people can really crush it. 
soak in the large, but you've really got to know that those have come together. And if you're not on those platforms, you're missing that local opportunity to really capture the business that you're going to miss out on. And so if you're just going for that national and you're just paying somebody on the SEO end of it, you're really going to miss if you're not on YouTube and on Google Plus both. And we can get more into that if you want. Hit Art sure. up. We'll do another video for you and we'll really focus on those things for you. But awesome. another really cool tip for you. Cool. Thanks, man. You bet. Anytime. Thanks, you guys. Hope you have a great segment. Hope you enjoyed this. Please subscribe to the channel right up here. If you haven't checked out Art's channel, do so. What is it, Art? Synapse Point on YouTube. Synapse Point. So check that out. Subscribe to his channel. Subscribe to this. Leave a comment below. If you do a video comment, all the better. We would love that. And we'll either, I'll either I'll respond or Art will respond to it. We'll be engaged with you. Thanks again for staying tuned and we'll chat at you later.